It's long, but it's short. Okay. First of all, thank you everybody for coming today. I know it's cold and it was raining and we had a lot of issues of whether it's going to happen or not, but thank you very much. I want to thank LA County Mayor Tonovich for having, uh, accepting our uh, proposal to do this exhibit. Yes. Uh, yes. unique once in a lifetime sort of opportunity for us to be able to do this exhibit here. I want to thank Grant Park. I want to thank the Lucy Foundation for being our uh, art sponsor. Uh, and I want to especially thank the very, very resourceful uh, and dedicated core group of friends and family who helped put, us to get, put this together. It's a, it takes a village. Um, of course, Levon, myself, and Vaughn, Vaughn uh, Tomasian, Rock, and he, uh, he put this whole thing together. Maro Parian. Where's Maro? Hey! Is he Maro? Maro. <laughs> Karai Sherikian is on our tour team. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Uh, Henrik Mansurian. Nora Voskerichian is on our tour team. And uh, definitely, not least, last but not least, my wife Anai Doshagan also. This work that we've done, Levon and I, over the years is very personal for us. There are several people, several survivors in this exhibit who are from Gurin, who my mother is from Gurin, my mother's family is from Gurin. Mary Semerov, who, who is up uh, on the terrace, is from Bursa, and my grandfather is from Bursa. We are both, all three of us actually, and everybody in our group, I believe, is a di direct descendants of Western Armenia, and we are the inheritors of everything the survivors could carry with them after the genocide. So the genocide is the first major rupture in the communities that scattered us all over the world. This was the birth of the modern day diaspora. My father called it the Big Bang. And so in that sense also, we inherit the Big Bang and these men and women stood at the very, its very center. And through their survival skills, their smarts and their perseverance, they were able to reestablish new communities in the Middle East, Lebanon where I was born, Syria, and of course here in the United States. So there's, there's a continuity for us that we, we have with, with the survivors who have reestablished communities here. I see my own grandfathers and grandmothers in, in these eyes of the survivors that I look at. And I see my own birth story when I read their stories. So this exhibit, this installation Eyewitnesses also works on several different levels. As you notice, the, the sculptures um, are at an angle. There's not a single right angle in any of these sculptures. And that speaks to the idea that the world is not in balance. When you have uh, people like them who witness, eyewitness genocide, they're survivors of genocide, that means the world is not at peace, it's, not a, it's out of balance. And the proximity of these sculptures together also represent the same idea that there's this continuity that after the genocide they came together and they created these new, new communities clustered together. Eyewitness is also for us a temporary monument and a memorial to the victims of the, of the Armenian genocide. And also, of course it's a commemoration of the centennial. As you can see, it stretches over three tiers. So there's one part of it at the music center. Well, there are only a few sculptures that you can walk past them. Or here at the terrace, it is much denser. It has a sort of topographic uh, nature and it allows you to enter into their space and be semi-immersed in their gazes. And then here at Olive Court, it's a different experience. Uh, where you can walk at length past them and, and um, through their, their spaces. I invite everyone to, to go visit every tier and experience it. And also I invite everyone to read their names and where they're from, which is very, very important for us, as well as their stories on the ground. We also invite you, if you have flowers, to lay flowers um, at, at whichever sculpture you feel you you, may, you would like to. So I imagine the day when maybe Turkey will uh, recognize the Armenian genocide. I imagine the day, yes, we will recognize and we will have our right to return to 
the homeland. And I imagine that one day, perhaps, we will take these sculptures with us and their stories and their images back to the place where they were originally witnessed. Return the witnesses back to where they first came from. And allow them a resting place which they never had. And perhaps then we'll be, have a complete circle and their, their journey as genocide survivors will be complete. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he always says everything. So, <laughs> so how many of you are survivors uh, related to a survivor or actual survivors from the genocide? Yeah. So, you see how many people there are that are affected by this incident. But you know we're still here. And that's what's really important. We're still here and we're still kicking. And we're not going to let this crime go without recognition. I think that's the most important thing. And that's why we started this... We started this uh, project in 1995. And uh, I think one of the incidents that I had that I wanted to share with you is uh, I was in a, uh, at an exhibit of the Ottoman art in, the, um, in Paris and I was looking through the art and I noticed there was a ceramic bowl and it had Armenian writing on it and the uh, the label on the bowl was uh, what was it nomadic Christian Turks yeah oh wait mountain Christian Turks this is the this is how they describe us so that they can when someone asks them, well, where are these mountain or nomadic Christian Turks? They can say, well, they moved somewhere else. You know, they don't exist anymore. So this is how genocide continues. So when someone asks you, why do we, why do we, why do we worry about this? Why do we do anything about this? Why do we every year demand that it's called a genocide? It's because it's the erasure, complete erasure of a people from the history of the planet is what they want to do. But we can't let them do that. We cannot. So that's why this exhibit is here. And that's why I want to thank everyone who worked so hard to get it in here. And I'd like, well, actually you're going to introduce it, right? Yeah, yeah so um, that's good enough for now. Huh? <laughs> And now it's my honor.